Hey future doctors, welcome to Dentitionary here. You will be provided with information for the doctors from the doctors. Today, we will be discussing about the importance and the last part for the DADH or dental anatomy and dental histology. So let's start. These are the remaining tooths that are very important on the basis of the long question and answer type questions. Okay. These have long answers. You have to define them well under the mm -hmm. headings of introduction. Like previously, I have told in previous videos about how to write about a tooth. We have to give a general intro, the chronology. Okay. Then the aspects, the five aspects, mesial, distal, buccal, lingual or palatal and the occlusal for molars occlusal aspect is a very important aspect because it contains all the information about how they function and for the maxillary first premolar the palatal aspect is very important because of the cusp of caraboli so here is a sixth heading for the aspect in the palatal surface is the cusp of caraboli. You have to write about how it forms and what is the function of the cusp of caraboli. Then you also have to draw diagrams with the respective aspects. Okay. Then you have to write about the root. For the mandibular first and mandibular second, the occlusal aspects are very important. Here the occlusal aspect and in the second molar in the occlusal aspect, Oblique ridge is the most important. You have to write the definition and draw a diagram about how the oblique ridge is seen on the occlusal surface of the mandibular second molar. Okay, that's all about the dental anatomy. Let's proceed with the dental histology. In this, only the remaining topic is about the maxillary sinus. Okay, eight changes. Sometimes they they may be asked asked in the professional exam, but only in the short notes the eight changes uh, eight changes you have to study about you have studied about enamel in the previous videos dentine pulp cementum pdl bone salivary lines omm and all the remaining eight changes are for tmj temporomandibular joint you have to study about that for the eight changes okay for the maxillary sinus, histology is very important. You have to draw a well-level diagram, which uh, which is labeled also for the goblet cells. Okay, uh, it should also label the goblet cells, and you should define how goblet cells are there and what is the shape of the goblet cells, what is their function, and all. So that's all about dental histology. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you found this video useful. If you want the PPT, follow the link below. And if you have any doubts or queries about this video or anything else, please let us know in the comment box. Thank you so much.